Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidated, and sorry I don't have my camera on. I am sick as a dog this weekend, but I just wanted to be able to show you guys something new that we have. Oh, look at this. I know you guys have been waiting for it, and this is the ability to actually add contacts to a page. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this, and you're going to love it. Now, we do have this also coming for appointments, so that way you can also add your upcoming appointments into a page as well. I'm going to go ahead and delete this like this, though, just to show you how to do it from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a section, and I could put in like this. And now I'm going to go over here to our widgets, and we have a new, or I'm sorry, charts, and we have a new chart type. It's called GHL list. So we're going to drag that on just like that. Now I'm going to go over here, and I'll delete this attribute. I'm going to create a new one, and we're just going to call this, uh, the first one we'll call leads. And you'll notice we have a list of opportunities or a list of contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and choose list of opportunities, my total. And then if I want to filter it down by source, I can, tags, I can, et cetera. Now I'm going to hit create. And then I put this here. And now these populate just like this. I'm going to show you what we can do with them in just a moment. For now, just uh, bear tight with me. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a one deals like this over here. We're going to go list of opportunities that have been won, and I'll go ahead and put this like that. So now we've got these two. Now what I'm going to do is click on here, and if I click on mappings, you'll notice that there's properties. And here's what I can where I can start changing things. So if maybe I don't want monetary, maybe I don't need the status. Uh, maybe I'm just looking for this kind of information here. Now, let's say that you're wanting contact data. So you're wanting to be able to actually see the data that comes through as a contact. You can do that, but you're going to do that as a list of contacts. So let me really quick delete this so I can show you what that looks like. So we'll go ahead over here, go list of contacts. We'll do total. I'm going to go like this. And now when I drag this in, actually, let me, I'm going to delete both of these so that way there's you can see because there's a lot more data that comes through whenever you are doing a um, list of contacts, total, and we'll just say contacts. I drag this in here. You can see now it pulls in contact data as well. Now, if I click on here, you'll notice there's a lot more options on contact data. Um, so I'm going to turn off name because on this particular account, they're just doing first name, last name. But if you wanted to, you could put created at last activity or when it was last updated. So you could go something like this or like this. And then you can change your colors and so forth just as normal. So if I go into my background, I might change this to black. And then I'll change this to actually I did that as purple. I'll change that to white. And now you've got contact data in here as well. This now, I don't know if you remember, I did a comparison not too long ago about our tool versus um, uh, agency analytics. This fixes that. This was the only real thing that they had outside of messenger data, which we're going to be getting soon, but we didn't really need that because you already have messenger data inside of Go High Level. Um, so this is pretty cool. We will pull it eventually, though. Okay, guys, hopefully... You enjoyed this. Hopefully this is um, something that's useful. Hopefully you've also been liking our GMB maps. You guys have an awesome day.